Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome on this beautiful summer afternoon. Believe me or not, it's in the middle of the summer and we came to a glamping site to relax and spend a lovely weekend away. And right behind me is the most interesting glamping unit. So there are quite a few here. Each of them is different. Each of them has a hot tub, ours as well. So I'm going to take you for a little walk, uh, take you on a tour, show you around and towards the end of this video, show you our little unit and give you a tour of our glam pot. Yay! It's super exciting, super relaxing. It's a beautiful sight. So I hope you will give this video a like and enjoy our little walk around this beautiful glamping retreat. I decided to start with the best unit, the most interesting, the one with the best view. Just look at that. Check the view from your decking. And here's the dome. Never seen any of those before. It looks like a post-apocalyptic yurt. I decided to start this video with the most interesting unit because I've never seen a glam pot like this before. This is called a geodome and it's absolutely amazing. It reminds me structures in Eden Project. So probably this is Teflon or some kind of plastic. Well, if you are interested in staying in one of those, I can send you a link to the site. So the unit is absolutely spectacular. The view is fantastic and there is a hot tub. So if you think, oh, who needs a hot tub in the summer? Well, if you spend your holiday in the UK, there is no bad season for a hot tub. Trust me, even in the middle of the summer, you may need to warm up. So it's absolutely fantastic, very spacious. We probably can't see much, but there is a sofa, kitchen and a bathroom. The only point which I don't really like is only one entrance point, which is really weird because it looks like a bog standard door. What do you think? Would you like to stay in one of them? Have you stayed? Have you got experience of sleeping in such a dome? Let me know in the comments. Let's carry on our walk towards a beautiful lake when you can stop for a spot of fishing. What I really, really like about this site is the fact that there are no two units which are the same. So it's not like statics in the holiday park or glam pots which are exactly the same in the trolls. Each plot is very private, each plot has its own garden and each structure is absolutely unique. Here is the lodge which looks like an old cottage. Everything is absolutely amazing and so beautiful. And check this bamboo. Each plot is separated from others. So even if you're close to another structure, you have a lot of privacy. Isn't it beautiful? This is a proper glamping site. I have never seen this level of investment. I have never seen such beautiful structures and such a huge site with amazing facilities. Each of these units is equipped with kitchen, bathroom, a hot tub, garden, decking, gas barbecue. There's underfloor heating and many of them have aircon. We are staying in the smallest one. So before you ask us, oh, have you robbed the bank or have you hit the jackpot? No, we are working hard and we are saving money and we appreciate our money and we don't waste our money. But from time to time, we like to treat ourselves with a stay in a place like this. So who would love to stay here? Can you imagine anniversaries, weekends, birthdays? What a beautiful setting. Let's have a little sneak peek. I'm sorry, I can't show you the inside, the interior of those units. We are staying in one, we only hired one. We don't have the whole site at our disposal, but who knows, maybe one day when we are a huge YouTube channel, uh, maybe sites like these will welcome us or maybe one day we'll hire the site. If you carry on watching our videos and we grow, you know, we go up in the world, maybe one day we could have a Freedom Seekers meetup here. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? As I said before, the level of investment the scale of development here, the beauty of each unit is mind-blowing. And yes, all these structures scream. This is a high end of glamping. And this is our pot here. We are here 
and don't worry i will let you in i will show you around we chose our unit because we loved the garden around it and we loved the grass for diesel or rather diesel loves the grass but some of them come with deckings this one is really cool oh you could here actually you can see a little bit you can see the kitchen and uh, the upstairs bedroom so this is lovely and spacious and very very pretty and it comes with plastic plants and a hot tub it may be the age thing but we absolutely love hot tubs especially in cooler months and actually in the uk a hot tub is a good idea all year round this would be your view from a hot tub here are you still with me and are you still watching let me know in the comments if you would like to try glamping or maybe you've done glamping before or you are a hardcore fan of camping and caravanning and glamping seems boring for me glamping means an ultimate relaxation i don't have to bring my bed in i don't have to pitch anything up i've got the comfort and the luxury of having my own bathroom kitchen i love glamping and i love glamping units and nice glamping sites and this one is really spectacular it's absolutely amazing and it is clear that it was created in a woodland and how someone got a planning permission to erect all these structures in the middle of beautiful woodland well this is probably a case of uh, good business skills let's call it but this is a thriving business and uh, a lovely place to be and we'll definitely be back okay are you ready to get in our little home our little glamping and see where we've been spending our weekend it's a weekend in inverted commas our two days off together yes which we are celebrating we haven't had days off together for five years so now we are making the most of our midweek weekends this is probably the reason why the site is so quiet because this is a weekday okay without further ado let's get you into our little home Welcome to our home for two days. Here is the eco pod. I'm not sure why it's called an eco pod. There are some eco features inside, but we chose it mostly for the big garden, which is uh, fenced with a hedge. So this is a lovely space for diesel to have free runs. And we don't mind small space. This is probably the smallest unit, which from the outside looks like a gypsy wagon, which is completely up our street because we are used to living in a caravan or in a motorhome. So yeah, it is tiny, but the space inside is organized beautifully and very practically. And we've been very comfortable here. It has a few really cool features, which I will show you in a minute, but we love the bench and we love the hot tub. And inside we have probably every single appliance and piece of equipment and furnishing you can think of to have a comfortable holiday. Freedom seekers, you're officially in and check this out. Check this feature out. And I do it with one hand. you're in you're out <laughs> love these sliding walls just check it out you could be in your bed and in the garden and in your cinema room at the same time the space is tiny so we only have a sofa bed but it was extremely comfortable and once it was set up for sleeping it reached up until here which meant we still had a little bit of space to move around the bed from the bedroom you enter the kitchen which is beautiful and we have a stove and check this out check this design someone who chose this furniture and appliances really thought about design can you imagine how easy it is to clean and look 
it fits in every single position so you don't have to worry oh is that the right way of putting it every single way is right <laughs> very clever we've got a huge smart tv and this is not a tv this is your hob and again interesting design never seen a hob like this and definitely not in a glam pod i wish i had one of those at home it's absolutely beautiful kitchen is compact but well equipped we've got every single appliances you can think of including a kettle and a toaster there is a small table and of course after a session in a hot tub actually before and after a session in a hot tub you need a shower and we have a bathroom here too they managed to squeeze a lovely bathroom the shower is lovely and clean and i would say will fit two people comfortably and all floors floors in both rooms have underfloor heating and this is probably my favorite feature look at that you wash your hands then you flush the toilet with the same water apologies for flickering light in the bathroom it's the lights lights in the bathroom not my not my camera right so there is underfloor heating all the way through which makes the stay here very comfortable no matter what's the weather and what's the season even in winter you could hop in the shower then hop in the, your hot tub and come back to a lovely warm cozy comfortable plant pod and the final thing think everyone is always super interested in is the price how much does it all cost well our small eco pod is the smallest unit here and also the cheapest and it is 150 pounds a night bigger units such as the tree house the lodge the dome i showed you around earlier in this video these types of accommodations sleep up to six people and they are at 300 pounds a night but what you get here is worth every single penny we've had a lovely stay here and we'll definitely be back we've all had a lovely time including our doggy who loved the garden we loved the hot tub all the comforts of our tiny home so thank you very much for this relaxing stay and for this relaxing video thank you for joining me on this little tour of the site and our glam pod thank you for your time and attention thank you for all your messages and subscriptions if you haven't subscribed yet please do please do it is free and that means you will not miss any single uh, video which we will publish in the future so thank you so much guys see you in the next video uh, let me know what you think of this site and accommodation i hope to hear from you soon Bye!